Hi, welcome to Family Sunday School. I'm glad you're here. This is our final Sunday School lesson for the school year. I've had a lot of fun with these Bible stories and I hope you have too. I also hope that you will join us for a program, a new program called Sunday Blast beginning June 6th, right after church. We're gonna gather together in person for a half an hour every Sunday after church for a story and games and maybe a craft here and there. And if it rains, we'll just move inside and be a little creative with our socially distancing. Can you guess what this is? I brought this today. This is called a pinwheel. Sometimes I put these in my garden because we can't see the wind, but we know there is wind because the wind moves the pinwheel. See, and it makes it really pretty. Can we do a little experiment? I brought a fan with me. Let's see if the fan will make the wind move the pinwheel. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So colorful. But just because we can't see the wind doesn't mean that wind isn't important. Wind is important. The wind helps us cool off when we get hot in the summer. It cleans the air from smog and it can even be used to power our homes. Can you think of any other things that wind might do to help us? There's probably some things. I hope you can think of things. Well, God's spirit is kind of like the wind. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is very important and is always with us. When God sent the Holy Spirit to be with God's people for the very first time, it was a, like a mighty rushing wind. Whoosh! That's what it sounded like. Well, many churches like ours still celebrate that special day. It's called the day of Pentecost. On the first day of Pentecost, some believers were all gathered together. And when the loud wind came, whoosh, they saw what looked like tongues of fire that came to rest on each of their heads. And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. How would you feel if you saw fire coming down on your head? I know I would be scared, wouldn't you? Well, the Holy Spirit helped those first believers share God's message of love with everyone around by speaking other languages. We're all filled with the Holy Spirit too. There are so many ways that the Holy Spirit helps us every day. Well, have fun with the lesson today and I hope to see you in person soon. Thanks. Bye.